When I think of a burger, this is the one I think of. Some consider it a national treasure. Born out of the Great Depression, there was a lot of pain and uncertainty in America. At the same time, there was a huge appetite for the beloved burger. Meat was expensive, but onions were cheap. So to satisfy people's demand and to offer something affordable, burger joints in Oklahoma started smashing a large amount of onions sliced as thin as possible onto a small amount of meat. Basically piling on as much onion as there was meat. And people loved it. Almost 70 years later, this burger is as popular as ever. It's my personal favorite way to eat a burger, and there are many stewards keeping this tradition alive. Burger historian George Motes is a famous one. My friend Mike Puma sells his Gotham Smash Burgers in and around New York City. You got White Mana in New Jersey, sells them as sliders. And Oklahoma still keeps the tradition alive in places like the Hamburger Inn in Ardmore and Johnny's Grill in El Reno. And I'm sure there's many, many more. It's one of the many simple dishes that prove less is more. And when this burger is executed right, there may be nothing better. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. If you have the right tools, this can be one of the fastest and easiest, and of course cheapest burgers to throw together. And I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So let's just jump right into it. Here I have about a half a pound of 80-20, that is 80% lean to 20% fat, ground chuck. The fat content is important in this burger because we're not gonna use oil, we're gonna use the fat in the burger to make sure that we get a nice crust on the meat. So a lean ground beef, not ideal in this, in this burger. And we have a regular Spanish onion, I'm gonna go half an onion per burger, approximately. So I'm gonna slice this whole onion up and that should be enough for two. Now you can do double patties. I'm not gonna do a double today. I'm gonna do a single smash burger. I like a smaller burger. So if I want lots of burgers, I'll just have multiple burgers rather than one huge burger with like three burgers on it. That's just me though. So with regard to the meat, we gotta remember it's a small amount of meat we're using and it's gonna cook really fast, max three, four minutes. So I'm gonna go for around two and a half to three ounce burger patties and I'm gonna weigh them. If you don't have a scale, you can just eyeball it. I'm gonna slice up my onion. Now, in an ideal world, I would say do this on a mandolin. That's gonna be the best. The thinnest setting on a mandolin, it's gonna get you the perfect shape and size of onion. But I always like to show how to do it by hand in case you don't have a mandolin or you don't wanna use a mandolin. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go really slow and we're gonna use a thin blade or the first top half of your chef's knife, which is thinner than the thicker back end. And what we do is we just use our lead guiding finger more than we might normally to kind of act as, you know, those uh, band saws. There's always like a, a guide. You have to think of it like that, like a deli slicer, that, that pressure always keeping it in line so you get the right thickness. That's what this finger does. And so we're just gonna go really slow. That's the thinness that you wanna go for. That means they're gonna cook really fast and caramelize properly. Maybe that's a little too much for one, but you get the idea more or less. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got my two three ounce patties and one onion thinly sliced. Beautiful. The bun we're going with is the Martins and we're going with American cheese. If you don't like American cheese, I don't know what to say, like I ran a Grilled cheese food truck, I ban this from my food truck. I'm not a fan of it, but some things it just makes sense for. And this is an American burger through and through and it just calls for American cheese. If you wanna use cheddar, go ahead and use cheddar. If you don't want cheese, don't use any cheese, but I'm going with this. And now in its basic form, this burger is a bun, onions, and beef. And that's as simple as it needs to be in order to be delicious. But I'm gonna show you ways to kind of make it fun. You can kind of make a burger bar. You can make these burgers and then people can add whatever different condiments they might want. So first we're gonna slice up a few kosher pickles because a pickle is always a great thing to put in a burger because it's real fatty and rich and a pickle is acidic and it kind of cuts through the fat and lightens it up. Again, if you don't like pickles, then just leave them out. Thank you. 
And now I'm gonna make like a, a special sauce based off of a Russian Thousand Island style of dressing, but I'm just gonna make it mine a little bit. So we're gonna start with one of the pickles and I'm gonna dice it really fine, like a relish. Got a little shallot. This works really nicely in this. And I'm gonna treat it the same way as I did the pickles. Then I got my Calabrians. I'm gonna throw a few of these in. So I've got my chilies, my onion, and my pickle. I'm gonna take a little bit of that pickle juice, just a tad. I'm gonna go in with that, get a little bit of that vinegar in there. I'm gonna go with some of that Calabrian chili oil. A little salt, then in with the mayo. I hope I have enough. I had like a, about a half cup. I wish I had about a cup, but I think I can finagle this. And just a, a little squirt of ketchup. You don't want too much. Touch of mustard. I actually like it. It's really interesting with that the, the chilies in there. It's not a straightforward Russian dressing. The chilies do sort of take it in another direction, but I like it. You can make it either way. I'm gonna do one with this and one without. So we'll see how that is. So we got our condiments waiting to customize our burgers for whoever wants what. And we've got our burger stuff ready to go get cooked. We've got a couple buns, our cheese is ready to go. Everything moves fast, so we want everything done already. I've got a cast iron pan, a large one. It's been preheating on the stove on a low heat so I can go jack it up and we should be ready to go. My tools of choice are a silicone spatula, one that I can just kind of press down and I, I know it'll release, it's non-stick. Uh, if you wanna use parchment paper, you could do that as well. And then to, to scrape and flip, I like to use a fish spatula. It's kinda bendy. I can kinda work my way underneath there and flip these guys no problem. That's it, let's just go on over and smash some burgers. A flat top or griddle is gonna work best for this, but if you don't have one of those, a cast iron pan's gonna work best. I want the pan almost smoking before adding anything. Once it's hot enough, we first toast the buns. Once the buns are toasted, add two balls of the meat with space in between, and then smash them into the pan. You see, this is the benefit of using like a parchment paper or maybe even greasing the spatula before smashing so it won't stick like this, but it's okay. It's not a problem at all. Just try to use the spatula to flatten those edges. Once both are smashed, season with salt, then add a generous amount of onion. You don't need to add this much onion, but you know, I'm trying to honor tradition over here. Plus I like fried onions. Salt them and then kind of smash them into the burger patty. This is gonna sweat out the onion juice and add that onion flavor to the burger. There's only really gonna be one side that develops a crust, so make sure your heat is high enough and do not flip until a solid crust has been developed on that first side. You can give it a little peek to see when it's close. Once you can see a crust has developed, scrape underneath it and then give it a nice flip with a lot of confidence. You should be greeted with a perfect crust. Give the onions a minute to cook and while they cook, season that side of the meat and then add the cheese. Then on top of the cheese, add the bottom bun and on top of the bottom bun, add the top bun. This is gonna steam the buns and warm them up. When the onions are nicely cooked, scrape the burger up, take the top bun, and close the burger up, and you're ready to dig in. The delicious thing about these onions is some are caramelized, some are darker, some are less cooked than others, and you get all these delicious flavors and textures that make this burger amazing. 
so good. Now let's try some condiments. A little ketchup and a couple pickles. It's just fantastic any way you slice it. You could add the condiments, you could not. You could just add ketchup, just the pickle, make it a bar, make it an experience. But these are so easy, so fast, and so delicious. You might be insane to not give this a shot. Get your hoodies available down in the link below. Thanks to all my patrons scrolling up on the screen, supporting this show. If you wanna become a patron, there's a link on the screen and in the description as well. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.